What up guys, wanna jump on the low snap here, and I actually wanna say, I am genuinely worried about Big Ben after the performance, or lack thereof, that he put on against the Cleveland Browns. Three interceptions, the offense didn't look the same, and it wasn't because Le'Veon Bell was there, don't start with me. Um, if you actually look at James Conner's production this week versus what Le'Veon Bell did la um, week one last year against the Browns as well, Connor outperformed him by leaps and bounds. This is solely just on Big Ben making bad decisions, throwing three interceptions, and turning the ball over. It's just appalling. He made the Cleveland Browns defense look like the 85 Chicago Bears. It was just horrible. And I don't know at what point as a coach, Mike Tomlin, you don't just go, okay, hand the ball off to James Conner, or get the ball into his hands every play. I understand you have Juju Smith-Schuster and Antonio Brown, but Denzel Ward, the Browns cornerback, who had two interceptions himself, made Big Ben look like a chump. I'm worried about Big Ben. This is coming after last year's performance of the Jags game where he threw five interceptions. And I understand people want to say the Jags defense is better, which they are. I'm not debating that, but it's still very concerning that Big Ben is having these types of gains, games with the weapons around him. Connor is a starting running back in the NFL. Antonio Brown, arguably the best wide receiver in the league. I think Julio Jones is better than him, but certainly top three in everyone's book. Juju, a number one on a lot of teams. You have him as your number two. And Jesse James at tight end, he ain't no slouch either. Now, I know that everyone wants to say that we wouldn't be having this conversation if Chris Boswell made the kick at the end of the game, but you still have to look at Big Ben. Even if they would have won, he has two, three interceptions. That's not good. And for a player of his caliber, I don't know. I'm worried about him. I don't know if he has lost it, if he's lost interest. I don't know. I know he wasn't having any fun with Todd Haley because as Bruce Arians had reported one time, Big Ben doesn't like getting yelled at and Todd Haley likes to yell and get in your face. I figured that Big Ben would go into the season refreshed, happy, and ready to attack every defense that came his way because they do. Um, as I mentioned before, the Steelers have arguably the best like complementary weapons to Big Ben that any team has. I am shocked by his performance, and I don't know if I should be concerned or not. It is week one, he didn't play a whole lot in the preseason, but it's still, it's, it's concerning that against a Browns defense who he's dominated in the past, he threw three interceptions against, and the offense as a whole had like six turnovers. It's depressing, I don't know if Big Ben is going to be on his whole well, maybe I should retire thing like he was last year after the Jaguars game. But it's definitely concerning. What do you guys think? Because I'm on the fence. I mean, he's on my fantasy team. I'm playing, paying close attention to this. Is it time for Big Ben to just relax? Or is it time for concern? I don't know. I'm still on the fence. I'll wait for a couple more weeks to make a final decision. But let me know what you guys think below in the comments. Thanks for watching.